Hey, what up, guys? It's Jeremiah with Tectonic Pop TV. I'm here with Trevor. How's it going, Trevor? What's up? What's <laughs> up? All right, it's Sunday, guys. We're excited to be here. I want to thank you for taking the time out to, uh, to have an interview with me. Right. Number one, you are from Arizona. <laughs> yep. Correct? Born and raised. Born and raised in Arizona. So um, I still consider that kind of like West Coast-ish, even though it's not really. I'm from Florida, so it's like it's not as far away from LA, but how does it feel to be, you know, so so close to home, but so far away in a sense? Okay, well, it's a small city. I'm born and raised there. It's up in Flagstaff, like it's up in the mountains. It's not the desert, by the way. <laughs> but um, it's, I like that it's obtainable. You know, it's like a seven hour drive, so I can just drive there real quick. Um, but I'm from a small city, born and raised, and um, moved out to big, bad, Yes. <laughs> so you're you're having major success here. You just released an album. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. So um, good. What is it? Limelight, correct? Yes. How is that doing? I, I read up and I heard it's doing. It's getting so airplay or, or distributed all around the world, which I think is great because you know you can pull from different areas and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what what's next? What's what's an upcoming project that we can look forward to? Are you going on tour? Are you promoting? Well, right now. Um, so one of my songs on there hit um, Arizona radio, and then it just started going viral from there. It top hits us and stuff, so that was awesome. And right now, um, I'm releasing a song on Tuesday, and it's going to be hitting radios on this Tuesday called Wave Your Flag. It's also on my mic. Wave, Wave Your flag. flag. That's a Tectonic Pop exclusive, you guys. Of course, we'll be posting it below um, when it releases. Um, but Wave Your Flag, what was the inspiration behind that song? And how did you choose it for a single? Okay, that song is about, I think it's one of the songs that captures my vision for my music the most, is because it talks about unity and um, just being yourself, be your own shape, be your own color, be yourself, you know what I mean? And it doesn't matter what color skin you are, what you're into, what you're not into. And the lyrics are like, you know, we all share the same stars tonight, we all read the same dirty nights, so come on, come on, wait for that. I'll show you colors. It's another Katy Perry firework. In the, yeah, in the it's making. actually the yeah. same kind of the same yeah, color right. um, vibes as that. Um, I want to know who's your biggest inspiration in the industry today. I, it could be female, male. It could be multiple people. But who do you look up to as far as like uh, okay. your your style of persona as an artist? Okay, I love Katy Perry. Uh, just for the record, like <laughs> she's <laughs> that, that interview <laughs> intuition. <laughs> it is. No, Katy Perry. I'm a huge fan of her. Um, just because I kind of relate to her. Um, as far as her upbringing and where she's at, where she's going with her music and her views and stuff. So she's a huge inspiration that way. You guys also um, kind of have like the jet black hair going on as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the blue eyes. Yeah. Um, but the next person would probably be Gavin McGraw. Oh, wow. My biggest inspiration nice model. His music, when I was little um, and I was trying to learn how to do like runs and right. do some more soulful stuff, I would listen to his stripped CD. And I would play that run, like that five seconds over and over until I could practice until I nailed it. Yeah. So he's like my base role model, like vocally, songwriting wise, as a singer songwriter. So if you had the chance to be an opening act for any artist um, in the U.S., who, who, what act would you choose and why? I'd probably do Maroon 5 um, because they, from a singer songwriter point, just does awesome songs. Okay. Um, they still have that real live band energy. It's also a pop dance feeling. I feel like they, a Maroon Five, is like encompass pretty much every single genre within their like ten year like a career span. I feel like they've done anything acoustic that they've done dancing. Yes, maybe scream. So, a, a lot of people are getting their start on competition reality shows like The Voice, American Idol. What is another one? X Factor. Um, how do you feel as being like an independent artist launching yourself? Like, what makes you so special that you know you don't have to use that kind of outlet to make your mark in the industry? Um, I I would I'll say for people that you know do use that outlet, I think it's a great outlet. Awesome, positive things come from that. I have right. friends that have been on competition shows like X Factor and a few of them on the and stuff. You know? um, and I've had those opportunities, I've got call back from the voice and whatnot, but um, I think what's, I guess, more unique for my story, which is the way it's happening and unraveling, is that um, I'm staying true to my music, and I'm staying true to me and my songwriting, right. and not doing, you know, like these cover songs on a weekly basis and whatnot, and I'm, I've, instead of doing that, I've been really focused to just do me. Right. And um, so I've been songwriting, I've been focusing on what I want um, to happen, I'm talking with managers, I'm able to, I'm planning out 
tours and how I wanted to look and how we're going about this, you know, rather than trying to survive on a weekly basis on the show. Right. You know? So although that'll like instantly boost your fan base real quick, the fans that I'm getting are not just because of like a hype, you know. Right. Like, you know, like they hear me, they hear me live or something and they, they love it and, and they believe in it and they they're running with it. Yes. And so and, I like and that. staying there for the long run, which is important. Right. You Do you have a, a, a fan it. name for your fan base? This last week, my fans, because I've never been able to think of one, so I've always just called them my world changers, because like I, oh, I always want to inspire. That's inspirational. Yeah, that's why I'm like, come on, where's my world changers at? So that's that's like prominent and like my world changers, because I want them to change the world, you know. Um, I want to inspire them to do that. But last week, I had these fans that were going crazy, and and they they're making a fan page right now called Force Minions. Force Minions. Like Despicable Me. Ah. Oh, that's see, that's my, one of the coolest ones I've heard yet. See, that's I don't a good know. One. I don't know if it's just kind of in the moment because Despicable Me might not be like yeah, but, uh, no, big, a, you know, in ten years. I from feel now. Like it may be, you know, or Maybe you can it's just get a right contract now. with like Pixar and yeah. you know promote yourself. Despicable Me three. No, at Tantan and Pop, we like to have fun with our guests. Um, we like to play games here. So, Trevor, we're gonna play a game called Drum Roll, please. Five second name game. I'm pretty sure all our viewers, you already know this game. Um, but I'm gonna explain this to you a little bit. Basically, I'm gonna just shout out a random word and you have five seconds to say the first thing that pops to your mind. Now the one thing that we want you to do is be <laughs> honest. Like, okay. don't like say what you want us, you think we want to hear it. Say what, what's the first thing that comes to your mind. Do you dangerous. think you can handle this? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I don't best. think you're ready for don't this jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Phoenix. Arizona. Okay. Uh, in and out. Greasy? Working out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, one word? I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm Airplanes. Dreams. Dreams. You're so, you always are so inspirational. I feel like I, I have a new role model to look up to. A S and M. <laughs> Chains. Chains. Okay. Chipotle. Ooh. That's my word. <laughs> <laughs> Fans. World changers. World changers. Good, good, good. And where can our audience or our viewers find your single at? Is it on iTunes? Is it yeah, on your website? All that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's on iTunes. Um, but if you go to facebook.com slash Trevor Forsman official, there's some free downloads. Okay. Stuff. Oh, and like, free. We like free. Yeah, and there's like radio interviews and stuff on there. If you join my fan mail, that's the only catch. Okay. But I won't spam. Go crazy. Okay. I need all of you guys that are watching right now to subscribe, press that button right there. Make sure you go check out all of this stuff because we're going to be posting it in the description box below. With that being said, I'm Jeremiah. I'm Trevor Forsman. And you guys are watching Tectonic Pop TV. Holla. Yeah. Get it. Okay. <laughs>